Oh, wow. What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and we are here to report to Pura after doing the crisis at Hyrule. Let's see what she has to say. Yes. Welcome back. Looks like it was pretty tough. So how did it go? <laughs> well, you wouldn't believe this about Phantom Ganon. Or maybe you would. Hmm. I see. So to summarize, there's no mistaking that what you all saw at the castle was the Demon King from the Legend of the Imprisoning War. Hmm. And the princess you've been seeing was actually an imposter. And the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. I knew something seemed weird, <laughs> says Tulin. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help with those these troubles everywhere else in Hyrule. But it's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, the fake princess. It's all happening because the Demon King came back. Mm. So then that means that Princess Zelda isn't actually here. Instead, she's in the distant past and not in the present, right? Mm. Yes, we should consider that to be the case, bizarre as it sounds. It also seems that Princess Zelda was trying to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Mm. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. Oh. But with Princess Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be. And she can't be here to fight with us either. Oh. We also don't know anything about the Demon King other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Hmm, based on what you each have told me, it appears the Princess was making preparations in anticipation of the Demon King's revival in this era. There must be some hint we still haven't figured out here in our time. Oh. Right, you are. We cannot afford to stand still at a time such as this. It is imperative that we act. Hmm, hmm. but without any leads. Hmm. Oh, wait. You said that six sages were with King Raru when he fought against the Demon King during the impri imprisoning war, right? Wind. Fire. Water, lightning, and then Zelda's time, and time, that was the princess. Oh, there's light. Oh, wow. I see. Huh? What is it? What do you see? Huh? That's it. There was one more sage back then. Who? <laughs> there's that one, that one, that one. We all know this one, that one, cool. And that one's time. Light. What the heck is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who is that? Huh. Exactly. One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this is the lead we were hoping for. It will be well worth our while to search. Huh. Each of you awakened as sages at ruins from the Age of Legends, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. That makes sense. So we should search major ruins from the Age of Legends. Uh, they're as good as a place as, as any to start. If we just searched all over Hyrule randomly, we'd probably never find the Sage. Ah. I think we'd find him eventually. <laughs> all right, we have a plan. Let's split up and uh, the work and get to it. Yeah. You four go back to your to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining Sage. Linky, search. I love it when she calls me that. Search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Huh. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Um, find the fifth sage. So there's a fifth sage. And is it on my map? Is it like, can I talk to you, Pura? Mm -hmm. We have to protect Hyrule no matter what. Princess Zelda wanted that. But the Demon King's power is a force to be reckoned with. So for now, we need to search for the fifth sage. Mm. Following the upheaval, I mobilized the Zonai survey team and investigated ruins connected to the Zonai. But so far, we found nothing about the fifth sage. There must be some clue hiding out there that we haven't found yet. I can feel it. So King Raru and the six sages fought the Demon King in the Imprisoning War. Princess Zelda was one of those people, the Sage of Time. There are five sages we know of, wind, fire, water, lightning, and time. That leaves one more, which we know from the ring ruins is light. There must be a clue to all this somewhere. I think it's worth revisiting the ruins from the Age of Legends to see what we can find. 
The ring ruins, right? Are we talking about the ring ruins? Because if so, I mean, we know a little bit. Is it on my map? Hold on, let's look at my adventure log. Find the fifth sage. We're still kind of doing Crisis at Hyrule Castle, I guess, technically. All right, find the fifth sage. Hmm. Understood. Hmm. The ruins. So the, the ruins that I know of... Huh. The ruins that I know of are like... Let's see here. Smile. Good enough. The ruins that I know of... Uh, we're at Kakariko Village. I don't know if I want to end up accidentally using these Gloom Spears, but these are so strong, man. These weapons, they just... Keep in mind that, that they affect me with Gloom. Um... So, I guess I'll fast travel over to Kakariko Village. See if they'll let me... Maybe I'll tell them, hey, that Zelda wasn't even real. So let me in. Where is I? It's over here. So let's... Well, I don't know. That's the only thing I, that's the only thing I can think of. That's the only thing I can think of. Because there, there's one place I couldn't get. And if I can just tell them, like, hey, that Zelda was a liar, Demon King... Uh, maybe they'll be like, oh, okay, cool. Well, then you can go up there. We don't have to, uh, you know, worry about the orders anymore. Maybe, maybe you can just go in there. Just an, uh, an idea, just a plan. Could work. And then uh, let's just venture off over here. Do you think the guy is still standing guard? I'm here to tell you to let me in. That's disappointing. Master Link, hello. Huh. Are you thinking about the floating ring ruin? I am as well. It has been on our minds for some time. Mm. We would like to suggest resuming the research if we may. Have you since figured out what became of Princess Zelda? Yeah, it was horrible. I just defeated Phantom <laughs> Ganon. Well, what? The Zelda who appeared after the upheaval was a creation of the Demon King? And the real Princess Zelda still hasn't been found? But how can this be true? Mm. Just trust me, dudes. Just trust me. It's such an unbelievable tale, and yet I trust you completely, Master Link. It, may, it must be as you say. <laughs> what if I'm the imposter this whole time? Uh, it is hard to explain, but the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was as though her very aura was different. Mm -hmm. But if she was an imposter this whole time, that would mean the real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring ruin was oh. because the Demon King saw it as a threat. Isn't that right? That only means one thing. We should investigate the floating ring ruin immediately. Let's do it. You're exactly right. There is no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once, Mr. Toro. Mm. Knowledge is tugging on the line. Time to reel in some results. <laughs> your lure phrasing is coming through, uh, Mr. Toro. You must really be pleased. Mm. It's just... Hmm, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Oh. I'll get up there. It's clear that the interior of this ring ruin is hollow. Sally, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. If the contents of the other ring ruins are any ind indication, there should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai script. Mm. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there is a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage these precious ruins. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I was lost in thought. I'd better hurry and tell everyone about this so we can open up the ruins. Yeah, I'm going to go in. Um... Secret of the Ring Ruins. New objective. Get me up there. Gotta find this fifth sage. The weird looking one. Just kidding. They're all weird looking. Um, so we're going up here and up here. Finally can do this. So it's actually interesting. I mean, it's probably good that I went here before, right? I think so. I think it's good that I came here before because I got the whole story about why this was shut off and... All that stuff. I wonder if I would have just done Crisis at Hyrule first. Would that still be the case? Or would I just come here and they would be like, No, you can go in. It's fine. Hollow, huh? Going in. I'll tell you what's inside. There it is. Right there. Right there, my friends. Uh, I, I, I'll take it. I don't know if they need a picture, but I'll take a picture. All right. That's the, all the proof you need. The proof is in the pudding, and that's all the proof you need. Uh -huh. 
let's go. All right, dropping down. All right, do you want to see this? Huh? It looked like you disappeared into the ring, but they can't be right. Oh, I forgot it. Okay, what about this image? Take a look at this image here. What's this you've got? Huh? Could it? Could it really be? Paya Calip, look at this. That's the image I took. No. Could this be the interior of the floating ring ruin? Wow, the stone slab is so clearly visible. What? There appear to be uh, Zonai inscriptions on this one as well, just like in the other ring ruins, Toro, if you would. Uh. Right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm, promise Zelda solemnly sign Miniru, sage of hide the key, southeast, and trust future wish defeat demon king. So southeast is... That's all I can make out. There's some lettering I can't figure out before Southeast, but Miniru seems to be someone's name. Southeast, huh? Hmm, <gasps> look at the context of Miniru. I do believe that this is the first time one of these slabs has put a name to a sage. It also mentions Zelda and a Demon King. How fascinating. <laughs> Aha, the inscriptions are telling us all sorts of essential information. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing. It's just that part before the Southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh. Ah, you're right. Paya knows her stuff. That should be read as Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Paya. Uh -huh. Oh, thank goodness. I've proven useful. It seems my continued Zonai language studies have paid off. Mm. Oh, no. I'm being upstaged. Uh. <clears throat> Where were we? Something about a Dragonland to the Southeast. Mm -hmm. hmm. How familiar are you with Southeast Hyrule? There's a site in Farron that has long been known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruins falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there were dragon designs in those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. <laughs> oh, Caleb, great catch. The Zonai Ruins in Farron. There's a good chance that's exactly what this is pointing us at. Mm. That's our Caleb. Fantastic work. Oh. I, I, what did you just say? <laughs> That this inscription is pointing us towards Farron Zonai ruins? Oh. No, not that. The next bit. A certain adjective was used. I believe it started with fan and ended with tastic. What was it again? Hmm? Ah, fantastic work, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fantastic work. That is what you said. Hmm, yes. <laughs> Callop, what fantastic work, he said. Huh. Fantastic. Me. All right. <laughs> Link, when we put together the script on the stone slab and translate it, we get definite mentions of the Sage of Nero, the Demon King, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. Something related to all three of them must be waiting at the Zonai Ruins in Southeast Hyrule. Uh. We've landed a real catch here. Thank you for your help, truly. Now, we've no time to dawdle. There's research to be done. <laughs> Callop, will you join me? <laughs> oh, of course. I would be a uh, <clears throat> fantastic addition to the team. Mm. Very good. With that settled, let's be off to the Zonai Ruins in Farron. First, we head southwest. We'll establish a base at the Papaya Foothills at the Skyview Tower by the ruins. Right there. Okay, we're almost there. I've been there. In search of new discoveries, <laughs> we make for Farron. This is exciting indeed. I'm on it, man. Let's go. <sighs> they left just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. I must study more about the Zonai civilization so I don't fall behind Toro and Callip. Yet it seems somewhat frivolous next to the mystery of the real Princess Zelda's whereabouts. I don't doubt that she is safe and well. I must believe that. As chief of this village, I can't leave my people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. I pray that Princess Zelda will return to us soon. So if I, if I want to get there, and I do, we just go right over here. I've actually been here. The Poplar Foothills. Uh, fast travel, let's go. This is exciting. And I'm making a quick speed at it since I've already done a lot of exploration. So that's what all those previous episodes were for, I guess. I was just trying to get to over to Hateno and I still haven't done it yet. But I'll make it there eventually, probably, maybe, hopefully. 
So. Where's this base? Is it here? There we go. Goodness, I'm beat. Oh. Ah, so you're here. Came to learn about the Zone from an expert, I gather. I should welcome you to our humble base of operations. Behold, this is where the real investigation starts. It might not seem like much next to that Skyview Tower. I'll concede. Ooh. Going forward, our research will proceed from here. Toro has already gone off to the Zonai ruins. If memory serves, he spoke of this of starting his investigation around Dracozo Lake. Go southeast, and you should find the Zonai ruins. He volunteered to inspect. Oh. I'm curious if the Dragonland written uh, of at the Ring Ruin will have any more leads on the Demon King or Princess Zelda. Ordinarily, I'd, I'd be right there at his side in the field, of course. Oh. But I'm worn out from setting up the base. I'll need some time to recuperate before I begin my own survey. Goodness me, is there anything at all that slows down Toro? One thing I want to do, uh, I had a pretty interesting fight last time, and I ended up using uh, some pumpkin stuff to boost up my defense. And so I kind of want to examine the idea of, one, kind of making an elixir. Like, if I make an elixir, I don't really remember how it works, um, but if you use, like, um, these, where are they, where are they, uh, Sundalions. So if I, hold on, first up, if I hold one Sundalion and I cook it, what happens? We get, uh, it cures three of those hearts. If I hold up two, it cures how many hearts that are damaged by the gloom? Six, not bad. So what if I make, um, some things have like protection against gloom, right? This is also a defense. So what if I, what if I hold this? I just cooked five pumpkins. What, what will it make? Will it make me a very strong defense potion that lasts for a long time? Defense up for four minutes. All right. What if I take three pumpkins? And I cook it with really good meat. Well, I don't have really good meat right now, do I? Dang. I cook it with, uh, dang, I don't have the best meat. What if I cook it with just two other meats? This is defense up for three minutes. So, I think the better meat, and that's only two defense up. So, yeah. I think if I used the better meat, it would, it would have been even better. Um... So, uh, let's see. Iron Shroom. How about that and then some meat? And let's see what this gets me. That's a uh, mushroom defense up for three and a half minutes. Or three minutes, 50 seconds. Okay, and then what if we cook... What was the recipe with the rice? Let me take a look at... This was, uh, yeah, the porridge. I don't know. Okay, anyway, sorry, I got way distracted. Where are we going? What lake? This is the Dea Lake. Where is he going? Hold on, where are we going? I got this. I got so distracted. Uh. Oh, you don't know to you. D oh. To the Zonai ruins, at the Dr Dracozo Lake, southeast. Dracozo Lake. Oh. Oh, right here. Okay, great. Um, there aren't really any trails here, honestly, so I think it would be best if I just go up. There are ruins in the sky. I don't know if they were talking about that at all. But shoot me up in the sky. Let's go. And then southeast. Did I go here? I think I probably did, honestly. Is 
Either way, it would be great to take a break here. Surely I've been here. Oh yeah, fairies are here, so that's... What the heck was that? What was that? What the heck is that? Oh my gosh. Hey, chill. Wow. I got him, but I thought... I don't know if I've been here, honestly. Let's see if I can get some fairies really quick. It's a duck. I'm going to go and grab this fairy. The fairies are super helpful. Because when I die unexpectedly, I like being revived. Is there anything under here? Doesn't seem like it, but the fairies seem to be enough. In my opinion. Come on down. Dang it. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, so to the south. Let's see, where where is it? Southeast. Oh wow, I'm not even turned the right way. I'm just gonna put a marker here. This is the southeast. Okay, cool. Let's hit it. Let's go. See some fires all around. Oh, that's not very far. Oh, that's not very far at all. And there's a shrine here. Let's do the shrine. Because if we do the shrine, then uh, I think we'll be in a good position here. To be able to fast travel back. So let's go in. And I'm super cu curious what kind of stuff we're going to run into at these ruins here. It looks like a dragon something or other. So this is built for rails, baby. And we try not to... Uh, we try not to do recall, basically, is what we're trying to do. Built for rails. I have a... Uh... So I have the shield that I can use. It's like a minecart shield. There we go. And then, um, so I think the main thing is I just try not to use recall, right? What does that sound? What the heck is that sound? Oh, there it goes. Well, wait for me. Okay, well, dang it. How do I get up? Oh, okay. <laughs> wait. Let's see if I can ride this. Maybe I can just straight up ride this. I don't know. Oh, wait. There's uh, this here. Hold on. The treasure. I just saw the treasure. And I can... Make it a bridge. Good fit, but I think I'm going for bridge here. Oh crap! Oh no! Oh no! Not how I wanted to do things, honestly. All right, so come here. I need you for my bridge. And I 
think what I can do in order to do the rails. Oof. Is this? No, no, that's this is for the treasure. Sorry, no, for the rails, um, I think I can just do my shield, honestly, but. I can't grab that. Here, get out of here. No, just, just go, just go. Don't slide on the rails, please. Let's open this up. Slip resistant. Huh. For, wait, for sudden rails? Is that what it says? So one clue, one idea I have, like, can I just ride, can I just straight up ride this? You know what I mean? Like, can I just like... I think I can just straight up ride this. Awesome. And did I get the treasure for this place? I did. All right, so no using recall. I don't think I can ride it up though. That's the real trick is I don't think I can ride this up. But I'll see. No, see see what happens is you end up falling. So, um, let's build something here and figure out what we're gonna do. Uh, we wanna take, what the heck? What? <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, I have an idea, maybe. Wow, okay, so I'm already thinking about it in terms of like. I don't know if this will fit, but what, what if it does? What if it works somehow? If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be super confused. I mean, I'm already super confused. Let's just be real. This probably isn't gonna be amazing or anything. But this might work. Look at this. This might work perfectly. Hold on. I come back. And then we want this like kind of balanced, right? So we want to put like one here. And then one, and then I hope this works. I hope this works. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna flip out. This is my best guess. It has one in the middle to maybe grab on to the other one. But like I said, if this just doesn't go anywhere, then, you know. Let's hit it. <laughs> maybe, look, it fits in. Perfect. Perfect, yeah, this is it. Holy cow, I think I could just jump from here, right? But let's just take the whole thing, why not? All right. It's like a roller coaster now. Excellent. All right. I think we can safely say I did that the right way. And now we grab this. I think this is number two of four. So there we go. A light of blessing. And then we're gonna go take a look at some sort of dragon statue or something, I don't know. This is a really intriguing area. Removing fused objects. 
Yeah. Okay. Storming over there. Here we go. I see some smoke, so... You know what they say. Where there's smoke, there's fire. The heck is down here? This looks intriguing. This is the Spring of Courage. I remember this. Let's pray. Devout swordsman who offers his prayers, hear my plea. I can no longer sense the presence of the Mother Goddess statue which dwells in the vast canyon. I would ask you to go to that land and bring tidings to me of the Mother Goddess statue. Please, I beg of you. Goddess statue of courage. That's a side quest and a half there. I'm not sure where that is either, but... Anyway, there's supposedly a camp over here. Or something. There may not be a camp. It might just be fire. There's fire at the very least. Yeah, I, I do remember this place. What am I looking at? There's a, there's a door over there, maybe? Alright, well, hey, you know what? You know what I always say? If I don't know what's going to happen, I just prepare for the worst. And where is freaking Riju? Riju, come here. No, no, Riju, Riju, let's go. Here we go. I thought there might be enemies here, but I don't see any enemies. I really thought I was about to uh, assault a, a horde of something. Alright, so. What is this? Do I need to recall this? No? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Let me go check on this area that's lit up over here. I thought that I saw smoke this way. Is this a door or something? This is some Oh, jeez. Gosh, no, stop. I always duck when I... There you go. Mr. Scary Man. What does this say? Dear Callop, the influence of the upheaval has spread to the Zonai ruins. Did you see the pillar-shaped ruin in front of this tent? There shouldn't be artifacts of that kind around here. An anomaly. And there's more. The rubble at the base of the pillar open, revealing a way inside. A new discovery. Naturally, I'll be going inside to investigate shortly. Just as soon... Join me as soon as you can. Toro. So, yeah, I do see that this is knocked over. This is... Yeah. Yeah, big, big stuff happening over here, guys. Anyway, I see the light. I mean, they wouldn't just put a light on there if it wasn't for me to pay attention to, so. Let's head over. There's Toro. Look at, look at this. Hmm, interesting. Ah, here we go. Uh... Aha, you came after all. I figured you would after you made that breakthrough with the ring ruins. But listen to this. I've already got a whopper of a discovery on my hook here. Here, look at this. <laughs> it's a Zonai mural, complete with intact text. The style is unmistakable. It's nothing short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact, which, come to think of it, might be ascribable to the Zonai's advanced technology. I've got a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just tried... So I just had to try deciphering it, but some of it still eludes me. Aww. Maybe it's a poem or some kind of code, perhaps? Here, I'll read it out loud so we can both get on the same page. Oh. The first part says, Where the electric garb hidden at long-necked dragons along the wide mouth forest serpent. All right. This is, seems like a puzzle. Where the electric garb hidden at long-necked dragons... Along the wide mouth forest serpent. What do you make of the forest serpent and dragons there? Oh. To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars found around these ruins designed to look like dragons. Forest serpent, though, I haven't seen any designs like that. 
Well, this, it looks like a snake almost. What am I missing? What other wide mouth forest serpent is there? The river. Maybe. Hmm. The forest serpent bit does remind me of a song that compared the Dracozo River to a forest dragon. But anyway, there's more to this code. I'll keep reading. Mm. Next, it says, Offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. I'm pretty sure you got that. I got that right, but I have no idea what it means. Mm -hmm. What in the world is a Zonai charge? And where is this tail with an altar? If we can crack all the riddles in this code, I'm sure that even greater discoveries await us. There's one other thing I'm curious about. Oh. I should have mentioned this, but I found one more Zonai relic at the back of these ruins. Judging from the shape, I think there's something inside, but I can't get it to open. Aww. Can't crack the code, can't get the box open. This just isn't my day. So, so I, th I think I can get this open, right? Ah, you lizard. Come here, sticky lizard. Excuse me. Excuse me. I didn't mean to start climbing everything just because a lizard showed up. I should have no problem opening this, right? My hand opens these. Okay, cool. This. Okay, so I wear this. Charge suit. Excellent. So I simply wear this. And then uh, I go and offer a zone I charge to the, you know, to the, uh, uh, is that the tail? The tail, there must be a shrine over here. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. And if, if that is indeed the case, then that's fantastic because this will be a really easy puzzle at that point. But I know that there might be monsters along the way. There might be other things along the way. There might be iron shrooms along the way. Just follow. I mean, really. Oh, shoot. All right, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Ow. That's just not enough damage. There you go, great. Which bow is this? It's the royal bow, it's a pretty good bow. All right. Black Lizalfo's tail, nice. All right. Oh, is this another door? Sure is. You know, but can you squeeze through here? Another, oh, another uh, lizard. Another, come here, you sticky lizard. So I bet this, is this, is this gonna be another piece of the puzzle here? Wow, okay, great. This is wonderful. I'm going to need these to visit whatever I'm going to visit up in the sky that I've probably seen before. I need one more. Hopefully along the way we'll find it. I mean, this, this, this was easy enough to find, so I'm glad I didn't just go straight there, assuming that just one piece was enough, because I almost did that. I almost thought about it, but I'm like, well, what if there's some interesting things along the way? And that's why I'm here. Uh, Riju. I get Riju and Tulin confused sometimes. Uh, just look, look alive. There you go. Grab those things, huh? Where's uh, my cobble crusher? Here, this is the equivalent. Just a couple of arrows? Come on. I thought I was going to go up there, but whatever. Let's just go. I do want a little bit better of a weapon, though. Uh, 
There's another entrance, so... Well, we got some guards up ahead. That's interesting for sure. This is likely the uh, final piece of the puzzle. Mm. Something sharp, you say? Do I even have something sharp? Here we go. Perfect. This one looks a little bit different, honestly. This one, a little bit flooded, I guess. And yet here we are with the third piece, the charged headdress. Stormy weather attack. I look amazing, look at me. Holy cow. I look good, don't I, lizard? Hit it. All right. All right. Now we gotta somehow, well, supposed to be a shrine at the at the tail but part of me wants to check out what's going on over here I don't know if this is the tail but this is something at least where is Riju I swear to god these, they never show up sometimes <laughs> not you Riju I don't even know if I did anything honestly oh here they come here they come though Hold on. Close enough. Where are you? Where the heck are you? Wow. Where's Regis going in to fight? Oh boy. This is a little weaker. I think something's swinging at me. Ow! Dang, dude, what the heck, dude? He's so strong. What's something a little weaker? Zone I charges, I guess, just in case. Uh, oh, I'm missing weapons. What do I got now? Let's use this silly uh, mushroom bouncy sword thing. I'm also using a minecart shield, hold on. Let's go with uh, this very decorative ring garland shield. No, let's go with the Zonite. Let's go with this shield, the royal shield, dude. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, gnarled long stick, attack up plus 10 though. Look at this guy, he just went bouncing. Oh, I missed. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Oh, wow, Soldier Construct Four Horn. Awesome. So, this, I guess this was basically just served as a Zonide charge. Like, hey, if you don't have a Zonide charge, you can get one here. And you can also face off against some really tough constructs. I think that's what it was all for. But also, let's just check out what's over here, because I don't know. This could just be a big sidetrack. Or maybe this takes us to the tail. Maybe this is the tail. I don't know. I don't know where the heck we are. I feel like this is still part of the river, in a way. What was this? Oh, no. But the tail, I guess, is... I really don't know which way the tail is. Like, just looking at the map, it seems like this is still the river. Am I right? Read you, read you. We'll find it. Oh, shoot. There's a guy dancing around up there. Missed. Got you though. Whoa, you're scrambling. Missed. All right. Uh, we'll just wait. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh shoot! This guy's big. 
Let's fight. Let's do it. The <laughs> boy going. <laughs> wow. Here, this is. A oh, royal halberd. Okay. Well, if I take the uh, this new spear I got, the long stick. I can maybe infuse it with the royal halberd. So it's even longer, which is fun. Uh, let's see. It's hard for me to know what counts as the tail of this. Is this part of Let's see what this is up over here. Like we're just looking at the map, it's like where is the tail? Somewhere over here, maybe even up here. I I just don't know. I don't think it's going to be up here. There is a wizard over there. I'm curious what he's all about. It is raining. It's going to make it really difficult to get up there. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a door. There we go. So uh, hopefully this is it. I offer a zonite charge. If there's a shrine in here. Oh wow, this looks a little caved in. Well, I'm gonna give this a go. Let's see if this works. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, here we go. That worked. So that was some real mystery there. And now these dragons are lighting up. Oh, wow. Whoa. Would you have a look at that? Is there going to be another dungeon? Caleb, did you see that? Lightning struck that dragon pillar too. Huh? Is someone in those ruins? It's me. Or I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's you again. We think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see uh, you weren't hurt. Oh. I never seen lightning strike like that. And even stranger, the dragon statue's eyes seemed to glow just before it. Link, if you know anything about this, fill us in on what happened. Well, sure. I'm, I'm dripping wet. <laughs> Unbelievable! A mechanism in the ancient ruins got rid of the thunderclouds and revealed some new sky islands? Mm. Great catch. Another amazing discovery on the books. I, in fact, I'd say <laughs> it's the Hall of the Century. Mm. It's a significant discovery, to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of getting up there. Oh. Hmm, you're right. That doesn't make it any less exciting, though. We need to report this to Pura right away. Oh. Caleb, I'm going back to Kakariko Village. I want to write up the recent events around the floating ring ruin in a report for Pura. You should stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if there are any more discoveries to be made. No. What? Remain here? You you mean alone? Uh. Yes. Even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much to discover on land. It's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Caleb. Uh. He wants me to investigate alone. Field work isn't my strongest suit. But this may be my chance to make a historic discovery. Hey. Right. Leave this to me, Toro. I'll begin preparing at once. 
I'll need to head back to our base of operations for a bit first. All right. Well, here I am. Secrets of the Ring Ruin. Can I have my charge back? <laughs> look at me, though. I look pretty cool, right? Let me take a selfie. Let me, let me take a look at uh, what kind of crazy weapons. Can Is there any way to like, hide my weapons when I'm doing this? Or no, probably not. But I have a Mighty Construct bow that looks good in photos. This is a Dusk bow, though. That would look, how, how's that look in photos? Probably looks pretty cool. Let's go with the Mighty Construct bow. And then for the shield, we'll also do the the zo strong, yeah, the Zonai shield. And then for the sword, I mean, I don't know. Let's just... Because uh, I'm always thinking about, like... How can I look the coolest in this game? <laughs> we used to go with like a strong Zonite shield. There we go. And then look at me now. I look amazing. I look phenomenal. And uh, this would be a perfect photo opportunity, I believe. If that's what you guys w would allow me to do. Uh, just go ahead. This is kind of how I do thumbnails. Like if there's not like a significant cutscene in the game. Sometimes I'll do a, uh, a thumbnail like this. I don't. I don't really need me to be pointing or doing anything weird but might sure let's go ahead and zoom in what's a landscape shot and then I would do something like this I would just go capture and then that might be the thumbnail that I ended up using I don't know uh, or I might do one that's a little bit serious uh, I would do maybe I would do this and then I would try again and then I would do self-portrait and then try not to hit anything you know, just kind of, uh, dang it, I hit it. Oh, I could, can I kneel and do one? That'd be sweet. No, I'm standing up again. But basically this is what I would do. And then I would just, you know, make sure I'm zoomed in all the way or part, part of the way. I, li I like that sweet horn. There you go. Just some ideas. For the thumbnail, I don't know. I'll replace the picture. I don't know. We'll figure it out. If we look in my uh, in my app here, my album, I have them both, so that's good. And uh, so, if we're gonna go back to talk to Pura, I just want to make sure that there's nothing else in this area that would be worth. Looking at, oh, a daytime photo might look even better on the thumbnail. It's hard to know. It's really hard to know sometimes because of just the way that things are done in this game. Uh, but this might look... So, like, another way, I, I would just do this, and then I would do selfie. And then, you know, focus in on me. Something like that. That looks pretty sweet, honestly. Holy cow, it looks good. Anyway, lots of good pictures that can be had of Link. Uh, is there anything else here? I know that we've unveiled some some islands. I would almost imagine that there's going to be another dungeon up there, maybe? If there's going to be like a, a fifth sage, then maybe we're going to be getting a dungeon soon. And that's great. I noticed I had another spot on my, my fingers because I have five fingers. But I was thinking that was going to be for Zelda or something, you know? Middle finger for Zelda. I don't know. But let's go back and uh, talk to Pura, right? Where's the... How do I... There we go. Oh, wait. Over here is... Wait. Okay, let me let me travel back to this. I don't know where we're... I don't know why there's still a marker there. I'm, I'm curious, though. Let's find out. He said he was making his way back to Pura, but I don't know if Callop was doing something else. I have no idea. The Joys of Night. If there's nothing else here, really, then I'll just go back. You! Oh, it's you. I've seen you found my base of operations for survey. Oh. Okay. 
The new Sky Islands you discovered were an amazing find. I'd love to explore them myself, but we have no way of getting up that high. If only I could fly. I think of all the research breakthroughs I could make. Oh, yeah, so what was I saying? I lost myself in thought here. Oh. Since last we met, I've been keeping up my investigation of the ruins. No doubt an amateur ruins enthusiast like you is curious how that's proceeding. Sad to say, it's a bit early for that now. The investigation is still underway. Even now, I'm hard at work processing everything I've learned, not resting idly, as some dullards might believe. Oh. Yes, this is my chance to do some solo work. I'll get results, and with them, recognition at last. I don't know why it's still lit up here. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. But I'll tell you, uh, if we go over now to Pura at Lookout Landing, maybe she'll have something amazing to say. Let's go. Maybe she'll be proud of me. Whoa, what was that? In the, did you see that in the background? What was that? I don't know. Maybe you guys can rewind and tell me what that was. was a, I, I don't know. I, I, my first thought was a dragon, but I don't know if I'm just seeing things. Maybe it was just a tree? I kind of saw it the last second. What are you looking at? Why is everyone looking at stuff? Hudson Construction. Yeah, what, what's up, dude? Ah. Link, hello ah. there. So, what do you think of the old handy-dandy Skyview Tower? The Skyview Towers are a result of the sweat and toil from those of us at Hudson Construction. Pure chart out the design work. Yeah, I know. I know how that works. Thanks for the, the the tips on what's happening. I don't know why there's still... Anyway, let's go talk to Pura. Hmm. Battling the mighty Demon King starts by, with finding the fifth sage. There must be some hidden clue we've yet to find. I can feel it. And I'm telling her. What? You found a clue about the fifth sage at Kakariko Village? So the sage's name is Miniru, and there are clues at the Zonai Ruins in Farron, I see. Uh -huh. Linky, fantastic work. This is a huge development. I'm sure you'll find the sage Miniru. Yep, I'm sure of it. Actually, the tree, the background of that tree looks really nice on her. If I could just, like... How do I do that? That's such a good picture. And then we also got... Uh, maybe she's looking this way. Maybe it's like she's looking off... Oh, she's looking at me now. She's so tall. Am I, am I squatting down? Oh my... How do I... How do I... I, I wish I could just zoom in. Oh, let me just stand close. No, that doesn't work. I feel like I need to stand on something. Focus. Wow. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.